Well, it all started a long time ago with our externship this summer, and uh, with the externship, it allowed us to get out there and see how other people are doing their jobs, in particular John Clark at Clark & Associates, and knowing how their architectural firm works in the community. Well, he led us on to Toby Hunter at Orgain Ready Mix, and when we saw the plant in its action, we saw all the different parts moving, and we, we saw our standards. We, they just connected for us, and we knew exactly what we needed to do. For these students to see what a local small company and the people that we deal with on a daily basis that work for billion dollar companies, just the size and the real world applications, the geometry, the science, and seeing that from a real world standpoint that we do it every day is, is important. And, and a teacher can, at that point, just say, see, I told you that you're gonna use it at some point in life. They were shown three different strengths of concrete beams. And their challenge is to mix, add a variable, that they can choose from based off of research to this concrete beam, the weakest one, and make it stronger. Now one of the things we want the students to consider is that if we have those four elements, so you have water, sand, the aggregate sand, and the aggregate uh, of like a coarse grain, and you pour that in with Portland cement, once you make this, we want another variable that they're gonna add to this to strengthen it. So take a weak ratio and make it stronger. I don't think if you were to go along the street and ask many people what is concrete, they would even have a clue of how much science and math goes into the field. And the more we're, we're talking to the kids and the teachers, the more they understand this isn't just throw a bunch of stuff in a truck and send it down the road. Everything fits together chemically and mathematically. I mean they are doing a real world project that we do on a day-to-day -day basis to try to make these mixes work. When people get hands-on experience, they, they get exposure to an aspect of things outside of a textbook. They can see it and they can touch it. Um, I think that has more, uh, more of an impact on them. It's, a, it's a, a memory that they'll have for a long time. The students are able to see how real it was. I mean, concrete, it's just concrete, it's boring. And a lot of my students are like, really, Miss Harding, this is what we're doing, concrete? It is boring. But when they realize what chemistry, what they are learning in class, Wow, it's really in concrete. It's really, they're putting those pieces together and they're tying all of the things that they've learned in class and applying it and then seeing it for real. Fuck it, John. No. The research is said like this. If you want the students to learn, you have to teach the teachers what to teach. So you get them out there in that, that field experience and the things they, they need to learn that these students are going to be a part of in their life after school. And once the teachers get that experience, the students will learn a whole lot more than just what they're doing.